Well, well the first photograph um, really takes me back. I won't say how many years, but um, I think that's when I just signed YTS for Queen's Park Rangers. I'd have been about 16 years of age. Um, and just a few months later, I actually make my first team debut in the first division um, against the mighty Liverpool. The thing I noticed most was the, f was the quickness of the game and how powerful and strong, you know, being only a young boy um, and how quick the game was. But uh, it, was, um, it was something that really whetted my appetite. This is me and Terry Venables on a really muddy Queen's Park Rangers pitch as it used to be in those days. Terry, who I played with, um, became a bit of a father figure to me. Very um, astute passer of the ball, very clever with the ball in terms of he'd look one way and play it the other. He um, had a good football brain, would pick things up and then try and you know, bring that, even as a player, you know, try and bring things into, uh, into the team in midfield and, and you know, had a very good career. Next picture, QPR were first division champions, first time in their history for that week, 10 days or whatever it was. Uh, it was very difficult to, to know what to do really when you were up there because uh, although you'd won the game and you were one point ahead of Liverpool, Liverpool still had a game to play. So it was hard to you know what to do, celebrate, not celebrate. There we were in the studios, most of the team, not everybody, most of the came, team came to watch in front of their cameras. And I think it was 10, 15 minutes to go and Wolves were still winning. And if you can imagine how that can be for you, your whole season, all those things you've done for that whole season now, you're sitting there, you're on the edge of your seat. And then I think Kevin Keegan equalised and Liverpool went on to win the game. And there we are in the studios, talking about it as myself and Stan Bowles, outstanding player Stan. I remember we were playing Arsenal in the league, um, we'd finished training and um, it was an evening game and Stan said, oh, we come back to my house. He said, Anna, cook us some, some dinner. So he went back to his to his house, went in his lounge, he had a three-piece suite, a table, television. He was watching his horses, actually, um, that he'd had a bet on. And there was a knock at the door. It was the bailiffs. They came in, they took the table, the three-piece suite, the television. I remember looking around and all there was on the carpet was our two meals. You know, Stan was um, you know, turning the air blue as they took away the TV set and didn't know if his horse won or not. And um, we went to Arsenal that day, uh, drew 2-2 and Stan scored both goals. This is um, during the England time when I was captain of England. Elton John used to be involved with the England setup. We had a couple of good nights with him after a few games, a few uh, couple of World Cup qualifiers where he put on a little concert for us as well and uh, so there were some good nights. The next one, uh, yeah, there's a great picture there of me about four foot in the air hitting my shot against Scotland, May 75. Remember that really, really well. I connect with it absolutely superbly. It went like a rocket. The atmosphere as well, you know, England, Scotland, uh, there's nothing like it, you know. It, it, it was so intense and, and certainly, you know, the start of the game and, and getting that goal really gave us an opportunity to go on and play some of the stuff that, um, you know, we could play. Great picture for me, this Bobby Moore on one side. My heroes as I was sort of coming to the game in 66, 67, with, for me, the greatest player I ever played against, Pelé. I scored that day, actually won 3-1. Um, that doesn't count though, because it wasn't a proper international, um, but had some great players on the other side. Um, yeah, this is Tottenham as, as a manager now, with, um, with Alan Sugar, Lord Sugar now. Um, Alan was actually probably the best chairman I had, to be honest. Uh, we got on very well. I went there and I, did, I wouldn't sign a contract. I didn't sign a contract when I went there. He asked me how many, I said, oh, we'll just shake hands to the end of the season. I'm not sure I can work with you. Right, here's, um, well, England cap and um, one of my racing pigeons. Stump is gold. I've um, been involved with racing pigeons over many years and um, they're amazing things, actually, in terms of what they can do and the distances they can travel. So. Uh, yeah, I've had an involvement for some time with them. And the last one here is my time at Stoke, Tony Pulis. Um, I've actually retired um, from football management and coaching. I'm now in my 15th year in the Premier League. Um, eight as a manager, seven as a coach. Um, and um, still going at the moment.